You mentioned Joey Bosa. How has he played? How important is he uh, to what the Chargers are doing defensively as well? Two and a half sacks on the year so far, but the one thing that jumps out is everybody was wondering when Melvin Ingram did, did not re-sign here in free agency, eventually signed with Pittsburgh. What, by double and triple, triple teaming Joey Bosa, would he still be able to get the sacks? And he's gotten two and a half so far. Had a uh, sack and a strip fumble against Vegas that uh, the Raiders were eventually supposed to recover. That eventually did recover, but um, he's still playing at an All-Pro level and uh, at a, as the uh, now the second highest-paid defensive player in the league. He kind of uh, had the highest-paid moniker there for 14 months until T.J. Watt and Pittsburgh had it, but also the rest of the uh, defensive line has really stepped up. Uh, Linval Joseph, uh, Jerry Tillery starting to play well. The biggest difference with Joey too is he's more of a linebacker and uh, rush player in this defense. He hasn't really played stand up a lot during his career, going back to Ohio State and now his first couple of years with the Chargers. So he's still adjusting to that, drops back in coverage at times, even though it is few and far between. But still, when it's going to be an obvi obvious uh, pass rush situation, he's going to be there.